Did you know that over 50 ships and 20 airplanes have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle in the last century? It seems as if the Devil's Triangle swallows up everything and everyone that gets too close. But why on earth is this the case? Researchers have finally found the long-awaited answer to this agonizing question. But what really makes the infamous sea area the graveyard of the Atlantic? Can the disturbing disappearances be explained by earthly means? Or are there higher powers at work here? Hardly any other area of the world is as shrouded in mystery as the Bermuda Triangle. Located between Florida, Puerto Rico, and the eponymous Bermuda, incidents are repeatedly recorded here that give rise to the most diabolical legends. Why has there been no trace of the coal ship USS Cyclops and the 306 people on board for over 100 years? What happened to the American bombers of Flight 19, which disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle in December 1945? These and many similar events raise even more disturbing questions for some. Could it be that the sea area is hiding something that we cannot explain with our means? An ancient secret from the depths of the ocean is literally not of this world. The experts' latest findings should now help to finally unravel this mystery. What have the scientists discovered? According to the researchers' current beliefs, we are indeed dealing with full-grown sea monsters in the Bermuda Triangle but not the giant squid shown to us in Pirates of the Caribbean, but monster waves. Also known as rogue waves, these colossal outgrowths of the ocean are capable of dragging even large ships into the depths. The special feature, such gigantic waves, up to 40 meters high, were long considered pure sailor's fiction. However, thanks to satellite images taken over the years, we now know that these adventurous stories actually have a kernel of truth. However, it is still unclear how the monster waves are formed in detail. In general, large waves are created by the superposition of several normal waves with different speeds. As the wave taps the energy from the surrounding waves, it hits the sea surface extremely quickly and unleashes a tremendous force. The likelihood of a gigantic wave forming in an individual case depends entirely on which region of the sea you are in. Accordingly, some areas offer particularly good conditions for the formation of colossal waves. In addition to the world-famous Cape Horn, this also includes the no less prominent Bermuda Triangle. With this in mind, a research team from the University of Southampton suspects that many a ship in the Bermuda Triangle has already been pulled into the maw of the sea by a monster wave. Scientific director Simon Boxall explained that a wave of this magnitude can easily split a ship in two and cause it to sink within a very short time. To illustrate the theory with a practical example, the researchers created a scale model of the USS Cyclops. At the time, the sea area in which the ship was moving was being whipped up by a series of violent storms. The simulation then calculated the waves caused by the storms, and the result showed how the coal ship broke up under the brute force of nature and disappeared into the depths of the ocean. And what about the airplanes? Well, that's all well and good. It seems perfectly understandable that such huge waves can seal the doom of a ship. But what about all the airplanes that have already disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle? Are the researchers trying to tell us that the monster waves rose miles into the air? and knock the planes out of the sky? Well, of course not. And yet the disappearance of the planes could have been due to the same cause as the giant waves. This means that the planes also fell victim to the violent storms. So, is the mystery of the Devil's Triangle finally solved? Well, not necessarily. In fact, we should not forget at this point that the monster wave theory is by no means the only approach that attempts to explain the eerie incidents. For example, we have known for some years that the Bermuda Triangle is not only the home to goosebump-inducing horror stories, but also to vast quantities of methane gas. According to some geoscientists from Germany, Japan, and the USA, methane can form methane hydrite at depths of 300 to 2,000 meters. This substance is reminiscent of ice and is suspected of having countless human lives on its conscience. As soon as the necessary temperature and pressure changes occur, the methane can escape from the ice-like chunks and rise to the surface. If this process happens suddenly, a veritable eruption occurs, a so-called blowout. 
triggered by sea and earthquakes or tectonic activity, such a methane eruption is equally treacherous for ships and airplanes. The best way to understand the effect of rising methane on the water is to imagine a fizzy water bottle. As soon as we open it, the CO2 bubbles rise upwards in a flash, and it is very similar with the methane bubbles in the ocean. However, the mixture of gas and water that is created in this way has a much lower density than the actual seawater. When a ship is in the affected area, it literally crashes, so that the people on board don't even have time to make an emergency call. In theory, however, methane gas can also rise far above sea level and reach dizzying heights. As several witnesses stated that they had seen explosions in the sky during the airplane incident in 1945, the explanation is that the rising gas ignited in the engines of the planes. As a result, a colloquial deflagration occurred. This means that the gas burst into flames within fractions of a second and destroyed the planes. Why the sailors panicked? A dry-as-dust mouth, a heart that beats up to your core and muscles that refuse to move. Many people who have traveled through the Bermuda Triangle later reported that they were struck by an inexplicable fear. But how could this be? Did their subconscious play a trick on them because of all the scary rumors? Not necessarily. Researchers actually know of another factor that could theoretically explain the panic flights. According to this theory, the frightened sailors are victims of infrasound. Triggered by storms and high waves, the frequency of this sound cannot be perceived by the human ear. What it can do, however, is to put the unconscious listener into a state of shock for which there appears to be no explanation. However, this theory comes with a big catch. There is still no reliable data on the propagation and the effects described, so the influence of infrasound in the Bermuda Triangle remains controversial. You were all wrong. However, if men like Carl Krusselnicki have their way, we can immediately stop looking for further explanations for the events in the Devil's Triangle. According to his own statements, the physicist has managed to single-handedly crack the greatest riddle of the world's oceans. However, the scientist did not resort to occult demon books or witchcraft formulas, but to plain statistics. As part of his theory, the Australian clearly rejects all myths about sea monsters and dimensional portals, and provides an explanation that could not be more unspectacular. After all, if we were to compare the volume of traffic in the Bermuda Triangle with the number of accidents, we would realize that the number of ships and aircraft that disappear here is just as high in percentage terms as in the rest of the world. True to the motto, where there's a lot going on, more can go wrong. Statistically, there would be no more accidents here than anywhere else. To back up his sobering thesis, Krusselnicki also referred to the aforementioned aircraft incident in 1945. His simple explanation, the weather conditions were poor, the pilots inexperienced, and the head of the training session had one in his tea. According to Kurselnicki, the fact that Flight 19 is still at the center of supernatural interpretations today is also due to a number of misinterpretations. As a result, the radio messages would paint a completely different picture if they were put in a different order. Is Atlantis to blame? What is certain is that the struggle for the most plausible explanation is still not over. Conversely, however, this also means that all doors are still open to, well, let's say more alternative approaches. The creative minds who don't know much about monster waves, methane gas, and statistics prefer to stick to supernatural concepts. Incredible, but true. One explanation is based on the assumption that Atlantis is to blame for all the mysterious missing persons cases. While many researchers believe that the island empire described by Plato never actually existed, the other side believes that the technological remains of the sunken sea power upset the natural marine structure. Bimini Road, for example, is said to prove that the ruins of the mythical world really do lurk at the bottom of the sea. Officially, this is an 800-meter-long natural limestone formation off the Bahamas island of North Bimini. However, men like Graham Hancock are certain that we are dealing here with the remains of a lost advanced civilization which some believe to have significantly influenced Plato's Atlantis story. 
No less outlandish is the hypothesis that the Bermuda Triangle conceals the portal to a parallel universe. Anyone who gets too close to this ominous warp of space and time is said to find themselves in a completely different cosmos. I wonder if this is also the origin of the UFOs that have allegedly already been sighted in this region. After all, there's one thing we shouldn't forget. Christopher Columbus already had a cold shiver down his spine when he traveled through the Bermuda Triangle. The Italian navigator reported that his compass needles went completely haywire here. But that was not all. When Columbus was looking for land on October 11, 1492, he spotted a strange light in the distance. Do you love finding out more about the greatest riddles and mysteries of our time? Then press subscribe and look forward to many more exciting videos.